Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video slash podcast, I'll be discussing the NWSL regular season match between the Rain and Gotham FC. The Rain are coming off of a 1-0 loss to the North Carolina Courage, while Gotham are coming off of a 0-0 draw to the Orlando Pride. When it came to the Reigns match last Sunday against the Courage, I wasn't that upset. I was more, <laughs> I was more disappointed. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was disappointed because I feel like the rain could have come back in the second half of that match after going down one in the first. Usually the rain are good when it comes to making comebacks. The first half may be rough, but usually in the second half, the rain will get it together, <laughs> sort themselves out, and make a pretty impressive comeback. That didn't happen in that match against the Courage. There wasn't much change from the first half, which is kind of why I found this match disappointing. There were things that needed to change from the first half, but those changes didn't happen. One of those things was Sofia Huerta. I really wanted to see her get on the ball more. Her services, crosses, and corner kicks are my favorite thing ever. And I was wondering why we weren't using her more. I know the Reign are now playing in a 4-2-3-1 formation, and Huerta has been sitting back a little deeper. But she can still press with the attack instead of just trying to get it up to the midfielders and forwards. Bafa Wolfsburg's women's team, they play in a 4-2-3-1, and their right and left backs press with the attack. Granted, <laughs> granted, this does cause problems later when Wolfsburg gets caught in transition, but I think in the match against the Courage, the rain would have been okay with Huerta and Barnes pressing higher, especially with Quinn returning to the midfield and being able to support Sonnet when it comes to possession and control. When it comes to this match against Gotham, the rain needs to not let their loss against the Courage affect them. It's a new game and we can definitely come away with a win in this one. We do have Quinn back, which is going to be good for the midfield. Sonnet will have support and we should be able to have better control of the midfield in this game. Fishlock will also be able to move up to the attacking midfield instead of sitting back deeper. I would like to see better control and possession from the midfield, better movement in the midfield as well, because as seen in the match against the Courage, if our midfield can't keep control, if the rain team in general can't keep control or possession, then our attack won't be able to do anything. At the same time, we also need to connect in the attack and in the box. Before getting into the lineup, Laura Harvey gave reporters an update on Rose Lavelle after the Courage match. Lavelle did suffer a knee injury during the last international break, but she is training with the Rain team right now. There is still there still isn't a timeline on when we could see her in games though. That being said, let's get into the lineup for this All match. Right, so the lineup. 4-2-3-1, we have Fallon Tellis Joyce in the goal. For defenders, Sophia Huerta, Alana Cook, Sam Hyatt, and Lou Barnes. In the midfield and attack, we have Emily Sonnet, Quinn, Jess Fishlock, Bethany Balser, Jordan Haitema, and Megan Rapino. So, good lineup. It's great to see Quinn starting. I know in the match against the Courage, they were able to make a good impact in the Reigns midfield. Quinn starting means Sonnet will have support in the midfield in terms of possession and control, which will allow for the attack to get forward and press. Maybe Huerta will be able to press as well instead of sitting back deeper. Lavelle still isn't available, but we do have Olivia Vanderjag or Vander Yeet. Um, we have her back and we could see her in the second half. I've been wanting to call her Vander Yeet for so long. <laughs> Um, we should do okay in this match, granted that we control the midfield, keep possession, and of course, connect in the attack and in the box. I've been saying that about, um, OL Rain, about the Rain, the Pride, and even Wolfsburg. Connecting in the attack, connecting in the box is obviously very important. Again, I really want to see the Rain come away with a win in this one. Now, let's get into the first All half. Alright, so the first half, we are off. I'm having a bit of an off day today, but on the upside, the Orlando Pride beat the Washington Spirit on Saturday, which is great. <laughs> and Wolfsburg won their match today against Meppen in the weirdest way possible. I'm going to do a YouTube short uh, for that on Monday or Tuesday. So yeah, a rain win would be nice. 
Oh, not that announcer for the rain match. I just wanted to chill tonight. Yeah, I don't like this particular announcer because when she was calling matches for the Orlando Pride at the start of the season, she was super condescending and harsh. And honestly, I thought I was harsh and critical. <laughs> anyway, one minute Barnes sends it up, kick back to Abby Smith. There was almost a weird four-way collision between Quinn, Hyatt, and two Gotham players. <laughs> Gotham Cross kicked away, two minutes, ball to the rain box, kicked away, Quinn to Fishlock, Fishlock over to Balser, Balser to Haitama in the box, Haitama offsides. Three minutes, Fishlock gets the ball taken off her. Ray needs to do better at controlling the midfield. I know it's only been three minutes in, but yeah, the midfield is looking a bit shaky. Again, it's just been three minutes. <laughs> Four minutes, Barnes going to ground battling for the ball. Good. She's okay, though. <laughs> Ball, to, uh, ball thrown into the rain box, headed away. Five minutes, Gotham corner kick, short. Ball sent in, Fallon saves. Six minutes, Cook up to Fishlock. Fishlock fouled, shoved, rain ball. Ball towards the rain box, Cook brings it back to Fallon. Seven minutes, ball towards the rain box, Barnes kicks it back to Fallon. Eight minutes, ball in the rain box, kicked away by Sonnet. Nine minutes, Gotham scores from distance, Gotham 1-0. To the announcer, that wasn't Fallon's fault at all. The back line should have done something to prevent that first. And it looks like I'm going to be watching this match on mute. Honestly, I really can't stand that announcer. <laughs> anyway, 11 minutes, Huerta, miss pass, loses it. Ball up to Williams. Williams running into the rain box. Fallon way off her line. Williams scores. Gotham, 2-0. Just bad from the rain there. Like, what are you guys doing? What is going on in the midfield? Most importantly, why can't we keep possession at all? 13 minutes, Haitama down, possible head injury. Trainer's out to check on her. She is okay. Again, what is up with our possession and control in the midfield? 14 minutes, game starts up again. Haitama is back in. 16 minutes, rain controlling from the back line. Sonnet under pressure, loses it. 17 minutes, good pressure by Haitama. Pino cross doesn't go in the box. Pino cross again, goes out of play. 18 minutes, Balser up to Pino, goes to Smith. 19 minutes, Barnes up to Fishlock, headed away. Haitama attempt from distance, goes out. Sonnet pulled down, no foul. 20th minute, Cook sends it up, goes out. Gotham counterattack, Rain recovers. 21 minutes, Cook up to Balser, kicked away. Ball outside the Gotham box, kicked away. Haitama down, no foul. 22 minutes, Sonnet to Pino, can't do anything with it. Ball played back to Pino again, goes out of play, Pino offsides. 23 minutes, Haitama up to Pino, Pino cross to Fishlock, Fishlock up to Haitama in the box, Haitama attempts, save, but Haitama was offsides. That was a great play, and we need to do more of those plays with quick touches and passes. Also, we need to be on sides. 24 minutes, Gotham cross headed wide, 25 minutes, Gotham corner kick hits the side netting. 26 minutes, rain foul, Gotham ball. Good pressure from the rain, ball to the rain box, recovered by Cook. 27 minutes, ball kicked back to Fallon. Gotham foul, rain ball. Pino to Haitama kicked away. Sonnet, stop getting muscled off the ball by Mewis. You're six now. Be like Jalen Howell and Lena Oberdorf. Minus the yellow cards. <laughs> 28 minutes, ball surpass, intercepted, ball to the rain side, headed away. Ball to the rain box, headed away by Barnes. 29 minutes, Pino up to Haitama, kick back to Smith. Fishlock on the ball, taken away. Cook sends it up, rain offsides. 30th minute, Gotham keeper and defender down, trainers out to check on them. Yeah, rain's on the attack right now, which is great, but we're getting shut down easily. Also, rain midfield needs to do better and be more aggressive. 32 minutes, game starts up again. 33 minutes, ball to the rain box. Gotham offsides, rain ball. Pino sends it into the Gotham box. Too much behind it for Haitama, goes to Smith. 34 minutes, good defending by Barnes. Gotham corner kick, short, ball sent in, kicked away by Huerta. 35 minutes, Gotham coming down the right side. Good defending by Sonnet. Man, she checked the Gotham player hard. <laughs> like, they went crashing into the corner flag. She is okay, though, but... Yeah, I was just impressed with that hard challenge by Sonnet. Haitama on the attack now, cut off. Ball in the rain box, collected by Fallon. 
36 minutes, sonnet turnover, ball in the rain box, barn, Barnes on it. 37 minutes, ball sent into the rain box, Gotham header caught by Fallon. Ball in the rain box, rain can't clear, Gotham scores. Gotham, 3-0. Poor, just poor defending from the rain. I was thinking we cannot let Gotham score a third before halftime and look what happened. I don't think we can come back from this. Just, I mean, we could, but not with how we're playing right now. 38 minutes, ball in the rain box, cleared by Fallon. 39 minutes, ball outside the rain box, defended away. Gotham offsides, rain ball. 40th minute, ball to the rain box, headed away. Ball in the Gotham box, kicked away by Smith. 41 minutes, Sonic gives it away, again. <laughs> 42 minutes, rain gets it away. Sonic up to Pino, rain controlling for now. Ball sent into the rain box, Fishlock heads it down. Haitama fouls in the Gotham box, high boot. 43 minutes, Haitama up to Balser, Balser attempt saved. 44 minutes, Cook up to Haitama, kick back to Smith. 45 minutes, ball in the Gotham box, defended away. Four minutes of added time. Cook up to Pino, headed out. Cook attempt from, dis attempt from distance goes wide. 46 minutes, Sonic goes down. She's mad that it's not a foul, but I didn't really see what happened to her. Come on, Huerta, let's go. And no, don't play it back, please. 47 minutes, Cook up for ball, sir, cleared. Long passes are not working for us right now. 48 minutes, rain foul, I guess, Gotham ball, ball to the rain side, goes out. 49 minutes, whistle blown, first half ends, rain, nil three. And people said Wolfsburg played bad today. At least Wolfsburg didn't go down by three in the first half and were able, and were able to pull off a late win. Yeah, when it comes to this first half, it's not good. Midfield can't keep control or possession. They're not connecting in the attack. At the same time, the attack can't really do much. The rain are on the attack, which is great, but they couldn't create any good chances for each other. Long passes into the box aren't working for us either. We need short and quick touches and passes. Gotham's back line, much like the Courage back line, is just reading those long passes and getting to them first. We need to try something else, but once again, it goes back to controlling the midfield. If we can't do that, then our attack can't do anything. For the second half, we need to do a better job at controlling the midfield. Our midfield needs to be more aggressive. The rain team in general needs to be quicker and more aggressive. Yeah, honestly, I don't think we're going to be able to come back in the second half for this one. Unless something drastically changes, it's a Gotham win, unfortunately. Let's get into the second half. All right, so the second half, we are off. 45 minutes, Fishlock making a run goes out of play. 46 minutes, Sonnet, are you marking Mewis or is Mewis marking you? I feel like that's a philosophical question. <laughs> um, ball up for Balser in the box, bounces and goes out. Sonnet sends it into the Gotham box, collected by Smith. 47 minutes, ball up to Fishlock, kick, kicked away. Gotham counterattack cleared by Cook or Hyatt. 48 minutes, Bosser offsides. Okay, so I just saw this. The way the Pride were able to force Gotham to a nil-nil draw last weekend was because the Pride were able to control the midfield and fight for possession. The rain really needs to do that. 49 minutes, Gotham fell, rain free kick outside the Gotham box. Pino takes it, Pino cross kicked away, ball sent back in, cleared. I wish Huerta took that. Like, she was standing over it originally. And it was in Huerta range too. <laughs> 50th minute, ball to the Gotham box, kicked away. Ball up to Huerta, kicked away. 51 minutes, Pino fouls, shoves, weak foul. It's like the Gotham player delayed falling. At least be like Adriana for the pride and make it convincing. <laughs> like, throw yourself into it more. <laughs> Ball sent into the Gotham box, collected by Smith. 53 minutes, Sonic, clever, nutmeg, Sonic cross saved. 54 minutes, ball to the rain box, Cook kicks it back to Fallon. Gotham sends it into the rain box, Cook kicks it away. Good defending by Cook and Hyatt there. 55 minutes, Pino touched to Balser, Balser up to Fishlock, kick back to Smith. Yes, good touches, but let's keep doing them. 56 minutes, rain corner kick, kicked away. Barnes sends it back in, Balser attempt goes over. 57 minutes, good recovery by the rain. Cook kicks it back to Fallon. 
Barnes cross goes out. 58 minutes. Haitama back heel touch to Pino. Pino up for bosser. Bosser attempt saved. God, our finishing. <laughs> um, yeah, that was probably our best attempt. 59 minutes. Hyatt sends it up. Kicked away. Ball in the Gotham box goes to Smith. 60th minute. Long ball to the rain box. Cook and Barnes struggling to get it away. 61 minutes. Gotham cross headed away. Barnes clears. Bar um, Balser clears now. Pino up to Haitama, defended away. 62 minutes, better recovery from Sonnet. 63 minutes, Gotham attempt blocked. 64 minutes, Gotham cross, Gotham header goes wide. Rain substitutions, Pino, Quinn, and Barnes out. Brown, Bennett, and Lats go in. Good to see Brown though. They're actually saying it's Holmes on the screen, but it's Brown who's in. 65 minutes, ball in the rain box, rain slow to clear, Cook finally clears. 66 minutes, Gotham outside the rain box, Gotham attempt from distance, goes wide. What are you guys doing? 67 minutes, Bennett cross, rain foul before that though, Gotham ball. 68 minutes, ball up to Haitama, hits her back. <laughs> 69 minutes, Gotham in the rain box, Gotham attempt, Fallon saves. 70th minute, let's go fouls, yellow card, Gotham free kick. Yeah, the rain are getting frustrated. Usually when they're getting yellow cards, it means they're frustrated. 71 minutes, ball up for Bennett. Bennett cross deflected. Rain corner kick, come on, Huerta. Short over to Brown. Brown cross headed away. A little more power behind that and you'll be good. 72 minutes, Gotham in the rain box. Gotham scores. Gotham 4-0. Let's go. Why didn't you just put it out of play? Like, who cares if it's going to be a corner? Just get it out one way or another. 74 minutes, great turn by Brown, Stanton prepping to come in, and rain substitution like a minute later, Bosser out, Stanton in. 75 minutes, rain corner kick, headed over, great service by Huerta. 76 minutes, rain corner kick, deflected, rain corner kick for the third time, Bennett plays it up to Haitama, scores. Rain, 1-4. And this is why Huerta should take corner kicks. All those three services were on point, except one of them. <laughs> 77 minutes, Fishlock, yellow card for charging at Smith. I think Fishlock thought Smith did something to Haitama. I'm not sure why she did that or for what reason she did that. Again, it could just be frustration. 79 minutes, rain foul, I guess. Gotham free kick. Ball towards the rain side, brown covering, brown shoved, yellow card for Gotham, Ryan. 80th minute, ball towards the rain box, Hyatt seeing it go out. 81 minutes, ball up for Fishlock, kicked away. Ball to the rain box, goes out. Ball up for Latsko, kicked away. Rain foul or offsides. 82 minutes, ball to the rain box, kicked away by Huerta. Ball into the rain box, kicked away by Cook. 83 minutes, ball into the rain box, Cook, making sure it goes out. Ball in the Gotham box, recovered by Smith. 84 minutes, Gotham in the rain box with the ball, Sonnet taps it out. 85 minutes, ball up for Latsko, kicked away. 86 minutes, ball to Haitama, outside the Gotham box, gets it taken away. Stanton fouls, takes out a Gotham player, Gotham player down, she's fine. 87 minutes, Gotham free kick. 88 minutes, Huerta going to ground times two. Really fighting to win back possession. Gotham attempt goes wide. 89 minutes, ball to the rain side, blocked by Hyatt. Six minutes of added time, 90, 90th minute, Gotham player down, rain foul, she's fine. 92 minutes, Gotham attempt blocked, Gotham attempt again, saved by Fallon. Gotham cross brought down, Gotham attempt goes over. 93 minutes, Sonic clears, Brown fouls, I guess, Gotham free kick, ball sent into the rain box, Huerta brings it down and clears. 94 minutes, ball to the rain side, Cook kicks it away. 95 minutes, ball to the rain box, goes out, ball up for Latsko, Latsko offsides. 96 minutes, whistle blown, second half ends, rain lose, 1-4. Yeah, that was bad. I think this beats out the rain's last match against the Courage. It was just, yeah, bad, not good. A lot of rain fans who saw this live or in person were telling me it was awful. No doubt. No control or possession in the midfield, no aggression from the midfield or the rest of the team. We kept doing long passes to Haitama, Bosser, whoever was up there, but it isn't working for us. 
They didn't work in the match against the Courage, and it didn't work in this match. The times where the rain were successful was when we were doing short and quick passes and touches. I don't know why we couldn't do more of those. Huerta got to take some corner kicks, which is great. Her services are still good and still very dangerous. We got three in a row from her, and Haitama was able to get a goal from one of them. I don't know what happened to the rain in this match. Something needs to change. We need to get back in control of the midfield, and we have to work on possession. We're a possession-based team. The rain moving forward has to work on possession and controlling the midfield. Two back-to-back -back losses is very disappointing, but hopefully the rain will be able to get it together next weekend. Anyway, I'll have the schedule for next week's games out on Monday, May 22nd at noon Eastern Standard Time. That is all I have for you guys today or tonight, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.